I'm Chris Cullis. I'm the Francis Howard Herrick Professor of Biology. Amongst other things, my research is looking to try to domesticate a wild bean from the Kalahari Sands in Southern Africa. This is a plant that's been used by the native peoples for many centuries, but it's never been grown as a crop. What we're doing is partnering with universities in Namibia and South Africa, with faculty there, to try to give our students an international experience, as well as producing brand new data and hopefully providing research. This part is particularly drought tolerant, so it actually makes a great big tuber. And in 2018, the group of students that went on the field trip there actually excavated one of these and we kept digging it and getting it out. And eventually it turned out it weighed about 550 pounds. It's this huge tuber. Um, we try to weigh it in the place we were staying at had a hog scale that went up to 100 kilos, and in fact we broke that. And we finally did it by making a rope uh, balance where we had three students hanging on one side and just managed to lift this tuber up at the other side. We're also interested in what's happening in the soil. So, as I said, these plants grow in these kind of desert conditions. There's, the soil is not particularly nutrient rich, and yet they seem to grow really very abundantly. And so we're actually looking at what the microbes are that are in and around the root systems to see whether these are in fact a very specialized group of organisms that manage to mobilize the nutrients so the plant can use them and grow efficiently. And so what we're going to go back and try and do is to collect seed from various locations and then plant samples all together in these same locations and ask, do the ones that have come from plants that have grown and adapted to that particular region actually do much better. Because if we're going to make it to a crop, we may actually have to have region-specific varieties that will actually manage to grow in that region, whereas if you try to transplant them and have one seed source that goes across the whole of the country, it might not work. 